What's up everybody, my name is Paul, this is Twin Sauce. Today, I'm in Disney World, as you can tell behind me, but Luke and Matthew aren't here. I'm here with my friend Tracy and some other friends, and we're gonna be hanging out here at Disney. It's kind of the first time I've ever done something like this by myself, so it's gonna be interesting, it's gonna be fun, and uh, I'm here for it. So let's uh, go on an adventure. Liberty Tree Tavern, and uh, it's like family style dining. It's really cool. It's one of the I'm so excited. They have some good vegan stuff. That's why we're here. So we just ate at Liberty, you just said it. Tree. Liberty Tree Tavern, and it was really good. They had some really killer vegan options. We had a vegan, um, uh, it was like a meatloaf, meatloaf. Yeah, but it was like. like with the mushroom gravy, oh, yeah. green beans, mashed potatoes. Like, so good. I had the portobello pot roast for food, yeah. and it was delicious. It was delicious. The, the portion size for the cost is probably Eh, a little small, but it was really good, and it was, and flavor-wise, flavor-wise, for like it was for a vegan, I just dish. wish it was like twice the amount. Right? Of pot uh, yeah, pot roast <laughs> for sure, for sure. <laughs> we were just talking about how, um, I was saying how cool it is that like Disney would put a lot of time and money into a queue that is seemingly just to hold people, but um, then we were talking about how that's really just more of a recent. Yeah, yeah. the last 10 years or so. Let's see. Oh yeah, there it is. That's so cool. Disney's doing it right. They figured it out. We're in line for Peter Pan, uh, his magical flight. Right, what is that what it's called? Peter Pan's, Peter Pan's flight. flight. Yeah. Peter Pan's flight. Peter Pan's flight. And we are in a queue, but the queue, <laughs> Chris was saying, and we think this is true, we don't know if it's positively true, so don't, it, we think it's an interesting thing. But this tile here used to be bathroom tiles, because these used to be bathrooms. <laughs> right, yeah. So yes. like, before they built the new Tangled bathrooms, that whole Tangled area, this area was like the only bathroom in Fantasyland. And for like most of the race. Yeah, yeah. But that's so funny. They just repurposed the tiles. The yeah, tiles I don't course. think they even took them out. I think yeah. it's just like they built a building around it. So. That's awesome. This queue is me though. I love this queue so much. That's one of my favorite ride vehicles, this hanging yeah. ride vehicle. I love that so much. Yeah, a nice sway to it. And it really feels like you're flying. Oh yeah. So that's sort of definitely one of the better ones. Oh yeah, for sure. I think it, it's funny because we're pretty tired. Me and Tracy got up at like 3 a.m. Yeah. this morning, flew here and met up with uh, Brett and Kristen and then we headed to the parks pretty much right away. Yeah. And have been, so we've been going. So like that, the, the sway of it, like if that ride would have been much longer, it would have been hard. <laughs> it would have been like nap time for Paul. And it's like, my favorite ride. It's like such a chill, like, oh, it's fun. Kristen and I have rode this ride like, like four or five times in a row. Like the cast member just lets you stay on. And you're like, one more time. One more time. One more time. 
So we just got our wristbands for the Christmas party. So we're um, just doing the people mover and then we're gonna go check out some lights. I'm excited, I'm that's like my, that's why I'm here, because of the Christmas party. I'm just taking up a whole seat by myself. Got my merchandise, my backpack. You guys are sharing My backpack. Just by myself over here. Okay, Christmas party. Let's do this thing. I guess. sound funny but we got caught in a, a, some rain like a lot of rain so I'm gonna put this camera away for a while until the rain stops because I don't want it to get wet so we made it we ran to Space Mountain to our fat we had fast pass for Space Mountain and we ran so now I got my hair combed and we made it and me and Tracy well, earlier today we're talking about um, that feeling when water slops over the sole of your shoe yeah. and into the bottom of underneath your sock and that squishy feeling you get yeah, and how annoying good. it is well it happened Let's so it right now. yeah we're feeling it right now <laughs> Christmas overlay is my flame. So much fun. It was bright enough that you could really almost see the whole, like see part of the track and like what was happening next. But at the same time it would get dark at certain spots and then drop you. So much fun. The music was perfect. The lighting was perfect. I was in love. It was cool. Well, we're, we're uh... Throwing in the towel. Throw, well, Gosh. no, we, we don't have enough towels. <laughs> we wish we had a towel. Yeah. <laughs> do not fret. <laughs> we, uh, it is raining ridiculously, so we are calling it quits for that. I my decision to only pack one pair of shoes. Yeah, no, same. <laughs> See, look at those, look at those, look at those. They're squishing. They're super soggy. <laughs> Okay, so last night got rained out, but they, we got it straightened away. We're gonna go back tomorrow night to the to the Christmas party, which is awesome that they worked with us, which is awesome. It's, it was a cool situation. But today, me and Brett are here, morning. super early in the morning to go. Is well, we've got we gotta go to Galaxy Dead, of course. Yeah, we're going. Yeah, and Rise of the Resistance. I haven't been, and I don't know anything about it. So I'm just I don't really know what to expect, but That's I'm great. I'm Good excited. Morning. I'm excited. So we made it to the front, and we're here. I'm excited. We have, what time is it now? 6.05. 6.05, and they're telling us the park isn't gonna open until seven. The last couple nights has been a little iffy. It depends on how far back the line gets that sometimes they'll just kick into the park to make more room. But we're waiting, I'm excited, I'm so stoked. The chaos of trying to get to Smuggler's Run was quite intense. This place is so cool though. Not gonna lie, like the immersion of Galaxy's Edge is incredible. I, I'd seen pictures, I'd seen like people like posting about it, but really I did not know how expansive it was and how large of an area it like took up. So I'm really excited. I'm excited to do Smuggler's Run and then we're gonna do um, uh, Rise of the Resistance and just uh, when, it, when our boarding group comes. Yeah. Yikes. 
That was so much fun. And I guess Brett was telling me that you can actually crash it pretty hardcore. So I didn't crash it, which was good. I felt like I was like a little distract. I was a distracted driver for sure, but that's okay. We had a lot of fun. And now it looks like our boarding group didn't board till a little later. They just started boarding people, the boarding groups. So we're boarding group 13, so we gotta wait a little bit. We got boarding groups for Rise of Resistance. We are boarding group 13. We were just called a little bit ago, so we're heading over right now. Boom. The one thing that I think Disney does really well is theming their queues. We've talked a little bit about it before in the video, but um, the queues are all part of telling that story, and I think that it's important. Like you look at this, it's like almost like a carved out tunnel that's being jacked up and supported by these jacks to like it's like a resistance base. So it's very like rugged and stuff, and I think that that's like really important when theming attractions to really tell the story and also even with like the different lands within Star or within Galaxy's Edge you have the different areas to tell stories um, and then you write you walk into the resistance and I guess that ties into this storyline so I'm really excited to see how it all ties together so far so good so good gosh okay <laughs> that was so much fun it's I think the, the attraction itself or the ride part of the attraction is incredible and obviously it's like so great but even beyond that like the experience and the storytelling that goes into this that's what I think I love the most is the storytelling aspects of what Disney does and this ride is is straight up like a storyline from the time you enter the queue to the time you exit the ride and they it's incredible it is so at this point, my microphone completely died. It stopped working. So for the next bit, you're gonna get a voiceover of Paul. A highlight of Epcot was the Epcot experience, which shows the expansion of Epcot over the next couple of years. And it was way cool. The projection and the 3D stuff, it was just a really cool experience. This was so cute. So this little girl did not want to get a picture with Santa Claus, so they just stood up, got around back, and let mom and dad sit in the chairs. It was just a genius way to see Santa Claus done. In honor of Luke, we had to do Living with the Land. He loves this ride so much, and we had to do it in honor of him. The next morning we went to Animal Kingdom. It was just me, Tracy, and Kristen um, hanging out at Animal Kingdom. It was so much fun. And these were the highlight. There's these puppets that they have come out and they interact with you and they were so cute. And you kind of forgot that the cast members were there controlling them because they do such a good job with these puppets. It is incredible. If you get the chance to go interact with them, do it and just like, I don't know, forget that you're an adult. And this food was really good too. Also, that's another thing I want to talk about while we ride this ride, is that the food at Disney for vegans is incredible. There was only a few that were like a little miss, like the Sloppy Joe in Magic Kingdom. But other than that, everything that I had was so good. That's not normally true. Oh, and then I had to take a nap, so that, that happened. We went back to Magic Kingdom for our second time at the Christmas party, um, and this time we actually got to enjoy it. This is the 
totally Tomorrowland Christmas show that Brett says is so bad it's good, but I thought it was just really good because I really liked the dancing in it, and they did a really good job. I'm really impressed with Disney's dancers and their choreography. It's just a lot of fun, and that you can tell they're having a good time. I let myself cheat a little bit and got Sven's carrot cake. Me and Tracy are both vegan, but we were like, "Um, we're going to cheat on this. And it was 10 for 10. Totally would recommend eating this. I love carrot cake anyway, and I love cream cheese ice cream, and it was perfect. Also, Elsa waved to me, so I'm pretty special. If you know me at all, you know I love Disney's parades. I would love someday to be a dancer, just an ensemble face dancer like that in, in a parade because it would be so much fun. But... Yeah, we watched it twice, so you'll see a lot of footage of parades. my adventures here at Walt Disney World in Florida. Thank you to my friends for joining me around and for making it such a fun experience. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Leave me a comment down below where you want me to go next and we'll see you in another one real soon. Don't die? Okay, bye.